So hello Doraemon, so in this video we are going to look into some crucial thing which every TCS of off-campus candidates would have faced like the UNEX question which holds 20, 20 marks in RERA and also plays a major role in PRA. So for this video we will be looking into some of the questions from the previous IRAs and how to solve them easily. I will be showing you the both the linear method and also the simplest method which can be used to solve these problems so let's get into the video and let's get started so this is my first video in this series so for this first video i'm going to take a very simple question in the unix which i have in the left side of the screen so people who are new to unix i'll be teaching you the awk command which is very important for the unix to perform the actions in the table so usually in the unix question you will be given the data in the format of a table so you should keep on mind that this handling this table is often done using the awk command and which is used to, to perform operations like addition subtraction over the table data so to get to know about the awk command so awk command basically has three parts it has a word written awk and within the single quotes we will be writing the three parts so it has a begin and it has three curly braces so which we refer to as part one and this one is part two and this bracket will be part three and here we will have an end keyword so which marks the end of arc so here we will be giving on condition and this is used for declaration of your variables maybe and in this part you will go with the operations and in this part in the end part you will go with the print statement or maybe mostly that is used for the print statement so this is how your parts will work and make sure that this begin and this last curly braces is closed within the single quotes and elsewhere if you leave a space between these things here it will give you an error and in the begin part we will use one important thing which is called as fs which is called as field separator so field separator is nothing but which uh, like separates two columns here usually tables are like separated using lines we usually use lines to represent or divide the columns but here we have a different few separators so here you can see there is a little space between this data rajesh and this is some ifse code and which will be also mentioned in your question like a record with name and account number separated by a space so the space over here is a field separator and you will be giving the field separator means sometimes this may be a semicolon or sometimes this may be a comma so whichever it may be you will be giving that over here in this fs place and within this double quotes and you will be separating the condition and declaration with the semicolon so this is how the awk command works so let's get into this and we'll solve this little problem to get to know about this question so the question asked over here is write a unix command to print the unique ifse code numbers the first eight digit of the account number in the sorted order so we have to print the unique ifse codes from over these tables and only the first eight digits of the account number in a sorted order so we'll have a reference to our sample input and output so this is the sample input and this over right here this is the sample output so as you can see it is passed with a name and an ifse code and the output is just an ifse code which is limited to eight digits and it is not in the same order as the given data it is rearranged that means it is sorted in an ascending order so let's get into it so let me erase these things So here arc and the field separator over here is a space. So I'm just going to give a space and to the second part of the statement I'm going to give like I want to print only this like this row this column 
actually maintaining this column only the IFSC code so I don't need this column over here so usually how we will represent these columns usually we will represent the columns by column name but here we will use these to represent the column names so if I consider this column Rajesh, Juhi, Tahesh and Jag and Mukesh without considering this IFSC course this will be the column 1 or you may like if you call it as dollar one and here these IFSC codes will be called as the dollar two so here I'm going to just use the print dollar two and this end part is optional you may write or you may not write so end part is used only for the printing statement when you use this middle part to perform some operations over the data in the table so if not you can directly use this to print the value like it runs like a loop by basic so i'm going to just copy paste the inputs over here and going into the code so i'm going to just paste the sample input in place in the input place And let's see the code whether it works so run yeah it worked so now we have only the second row and now we will be going to limiting it to the eight digits so how we can do that is we use this little pipe to send the output of one command into another command so if we if I want to just cut short these output into this output into an eight digit thing so I'm just using cut cut I can see and I want characters from one to eight so I'm just using one to eight and now if I run it so now it is cut shorter and this data is still in the same order in which we passed. So now we have to sort it in ascending order according to the letters over here. So as told in the command, write the unix command to print the unix FSC code numbers, the first eight digit in a sorted order. So to sort it, I'm again passing this output into another code and here we have a little word to sort the entire column. So now if I run it, you can see the IFSC code which we have passed in the sample input and the sample output matches the thing. So this is how easy it is and now one more thing over here is this sample output don't have any repeated IFSC code and over here this sample input has a repeated IFSC code as you can see over here so what is said in the command is right the unix command to print the unique IFSC code so again we have to make it unique so to make it unique we have a little code like word called unique which will only print the unique values unique as you don't know about unique 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 value it will take only the value and it will not consider the value which is repeated again so now if i take it as this output don't have any repeated value it's just giving me the same output i'm pasting the another sample input so now let's check whether our input works I'm just replacing it with what did I have and I'm running it so as you can see here the HDFC is repeated two times and here it is not 2 and 2 4 it's only coming once as you can see so this is how it's very easy about the Unix if you learn it it will be very easy for the next video I'll be solving on the IRA number 15 Unix IFSC uh, unix code and we look into it so that's it for this week video and if you like it and just give me a thumbs up and i'll be posting every alternate day so subscribe to my channel to don't miss an updated video and bye bye, bye, -bye and i'll meet, meet you in the next video